Yes. Online people, am I audible? भाई जी दूसरा पेन है वो दूसरा पेन है वो नॉर्मल में तो एनी बड़ी वॉन्ट टू आस एनी डाउट यस नो बड़ी और ये बिल्कुल सेटिंग हियर देर लाइक दैट ऐसा नो इश्यू नो इश्यू वेर एवर यू फील कन्वीनियंट यस यस और अपने यस्टरडे वन पर्सन सेटिंग One class he died. Yeah, no issue. So, quick summary: what we murdered in the last class. So, what's the first assumption in uh, blood relation? Anji, don't don't decide the gender based upon the name. In which topic? Only blood relation. In every topic, in CSAT, because the name will come in logical reasoning also. Name will come in direction topic also. Name will come in many topics. Understand? Don't decide the gender based upon the name in any topics in CSAT. Getting this? What is next one? Anji. Acha. Any other? What is next condition? Couple means what? They must be married. Next. And they must be male and female only. Next. Husband must be elder than the wife. If wife is elder than the husband, then statement specifically mentioned in the state. Okay, what's next? Husband side relatives or wife side relatives not mentioned. What do you have to assume? If it is wife side, statement specifically mentioned. Next. Yes, paternal side or maternal side not specifically mentioned in the statement. What do you have to assume? Paternal side. If it is related to maternal side, statement specifically means. Allah remember that. Next, male or female is not mentioned in the statement. What you have to assume? I will hang in the fan. Write everybody name. <laughs> yes, cannot be determined. Allah remember that. That's why I am repeatedly saying, sir, husband side or wife side, husband side, father side or mother side, sir, father side. Everything male side. So male or female not provide. That means you can assume male. No, cannot be determined. Understand this. Next. Uh, any other before that? If somebody having kid, that kid must be biological kid of that person, and the parent must be married. We need information related to that partner. What information you will search from the paragraph? Dead or alive? <laughs> right. Next. Alive means they will not mention. Uh, dead means they will mention. Yes. The the partner is died or not? Next. Divorced. The person got divorced or not? Next, widow or widower is mentioned or not? If it is mentioned, accordingly you can answer the question. If it is not mentioned, then we have to assume partner is alive. We don't have sufficient information. All I remember this. Next, brother, sister, sibling means what you have to assume? Own brother. If it is related to cousin side or in law side or or or. That is in law side. Are you understand? Then I would assume own own brother, own sibling, own sister like that. All are understood this. Next, you know nobody saying, eh? Yes. Neutral gender. What are the neutral genders? Spouse, then cousin. Next time, siblings. All are remember this. Whom we can consider as the same generation people. Cousin means I will jump from the building. Yes, whom we can treat as the same generation people. Okay, partner or sibling. Are you understand this, boss? Whose partner, whose sibling? Own partner, own sibling. Or cousin partner, cousin sibling. Or in-law side partner, in-law sibling. They are treated as what? Same generation people. All are remember that? Totally silent. What is first type of question? 
family tree based question how many types what are those two types simple and complex what is second type of question coded relation how many types three what are those three types forward reverse you know already how to see forward or reverse or forward and reverse understood this one next indirect relation all are remember that right next arrangement based question how many types in arrangement what are those two types linear and closed why i am not using the word circular because in square also we can arrange in rectangle also we can arrange in any other polygon also we can arrange that is why i am use the word closed arrangement are you understood this was next data sufficiency question next correct or incorrect are you understand while attempting upsc question i will tell you after finishing today's topics what to do in each topics what test and everything i will announce today understand while the first while seeing the question you have to know this belongs to which topics which is sub sub topics i told you in 2023 and 24 many people will say that questions are difficult why first they don't know that question belongs to which topic then how do they know which is sub topic how to approach it understood this course that's why i'm always a we will teach the topic we will not solve the topic otherwise i will display the question in one class or one hour we can finish the blood relation we will go to next topic that india will teach i will not teach like that understood this already so yesterday we finished simple and complex we started coded relation and we finished what a forward forward done one question totally silent eh? all right always revise many people today coming then next day coming to class then only opened that means merely attend the class will not helpful for you understand this was so after reaching home take your rest whenever interested to study study your gs or optional or current affairs whenever boring to study uh, that half an hour you can take for csat understood this was that boring time you can spend for csat okay well, because we are not going to teach the csat we will uh, inch by inch we will demolish the topic understood this was so all are ready any newcomer today there are newcomer oh acha what's the qualification madam ji madam ji right subject acha what's the sub uh, qualification triple no can you go slowly consider my age ah uh, yes come again subject yes i understand now who you are yes this that subject having every subject having some character according to change my way of teaching that's why i'm asking subject what is your subject i forgot that yes become yes forestry acha where you studied this then anything left right madam ji louder you ji political science acha yes where acha yes civil uh, you can manage any subject yes your subject mechanical engineer yeah, you can manage any subject yes Be subject specialization are you are you computer science are you is electronics communication mechatronics uh, bio biotechnology what is that you studied engineering or some other people studied engineering okay leave it yes madam ji history acha yes why this much subject acha yes 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 acha yes you said like yes one person missing uh, two people they seated seated there okay okay they think okay some of the big teachers are there they don't know they are my students once upon a time 20 years back oh acha acha so ready right so we will finish the topic we will summarize that also online people please tell me whether board is clear or not somebody yesterday messaged me so come to class 5 to 10 minutes earlier every day today came late okay first then allow your breath to settle
this I, every month there are two days amavasa and Parunami. i will be little bit 5 minutes late otherwise but every remaining other day i will be on time all right ready so is all our example is forwarder request sir anji every given information are reverse order okay boss you know already how to how to read that tell me what are we solved this no tell me what is asked in the question which is which of the following is true that is asked in the question okay boss i will solve one example and i will make you to solve the remaining example are you ready first what you have to do decode it m into n plus r divided t remove the symbol and write the relation online people is board is clear yes sir oh, actually so please come in uh, video because uh, if your face is not good then i will teach one more time some people are shy to ask the doubt i don't know who are seeing me yes listen boss so decode it multiply is coded as what here mother in this example forward or reverse or reverse order i have to start reading from here to here so that is the first arrow next plus is coded as sister forward or reverse or reverse that is second divide is coded as what father father forward or reverse or One minute. Reverse that. That is third. Are you ready? First arrow start from where? First arrow start from where? N. You see, that I told you this is starting point, this is ending point. Are you remember yesterday? Right. First arrow start from where? Start reading from N in the arrow direction. Read it. Can I write N and M in same hierarchy? No, you know already why. Okay, but who is the mother? Somebody is in hangover, I think. Yes. N is the mother of M. All are understood this. Second arrow start from where? Start reading from R in the arrow direction. Tell me. R is the sister of? So N and R are in same hierarchy or not? Yes, sir. So N is the sister of R. Are you understand this book? Next arrow start from where? Start reading from T in the arrow direction. T is the mother of? So T and R are in same hierarchy. Yes, means sir. Yes, sir. No, because father is a, so R and T cannot be same hierarchy. Who is the father? T. Can I write it above R or below R? Above R. Okay, but so T is the father of whom? R. N and R are sibling. That means sir, T having two kids. What is the exact gender of R? What is the exact gender of R? Anji? Female. Why female? Who is the sister? R is the sister of N. Are you understood this person? All are understand. Now tell me. What is the option A? Yeah. What is gender of M here? We don't know. Now tell me. Option A. M is the son of R. Correct? Or? No. N is anti of T. So T call N as anti. T call N as anti. Yeah. No. Next. M is a T call M as granddaughter. Is it right? Huh? I will jump from the building. If it is a grandchild is there, then it is correct. Are you understood this bar? Granddaughter means then M becomes a female. How do you know M is a female? So that is also wrong. Are you understood? So what is the answer? All are understood this. Understood this? What I am saying? You see here, which of the following, that means I have to verify every option. Understand this person? Understand? Can you go to the next question? You solve the question. You understand something, Madam Ji? Wait for uh, half an hour, new topic will start. Yes. This is it. One more question is based upon this diagram. Q is the brother of T R. Tell me what is asked in the question. What is asked in the question? 
in which option t calls q as brother are you understand this boy so i have to verify each option are you understand tell me in option a how t call q in option b is q is there so no need of verifying that in option c q is there t is there yes sir q is there t is there yes so you have to verify a c d one understand this check it tell me what is the answer other understood and not understood other swami sir daily coming he himself teach he himself revise he himself will leave the class yes please oh is this belongs to other question oh sorry sir sir please wait oh i am in hang over there this is the question we done now no 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 correct only ah yes take a snapshot of this if you need online people anybody doubt hmm answer d okay getting 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 d in option a how t call q somebody saying anji in option a how t call q father all are getting getting anybody having doubt anybody anybody in option c how t, how t call q anybody doubt please tell me i will i will draw the diagram so in option c how t call q anti 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 no madam ji how anti very good question lesson boss i so i am decoding c so t multiply m minus r plus q so remove the symbol and write the relation multiply is coded as mother forward or reverse of reverse first step minus is coded as brother forward or reverse of first second step then plus is coded as sister forward or reverse of reverse order that is third order get it first arrow start from where start reading from m in the arrow direction okay but first between t and m mother is there so they cannot be same hierarchy okay but now read m is the mother of m is the mother of t all are getting this second arrow start bit here between m and r brother is there so they must be same hierarchy so now reverse order that means you are start reading from r r is the brother of m r is the brother of m same same hierarchy next sister is there that means same hierarchy read q is the sister of r q is the sister of r these three people are sibling what is the gender of t we don't know how t call m mother they are mother sibling so auntie ji sorry i apologize uncle and auntie now how t call q are you understand so that is not our answer so what is our answer getting this all are understand so we solved all our forward we solved all our reverse now next last question some information are forward some information are reverse all are ready right listen boss no I will write the correction. Night time, I type that is why it is wrong. first line that the s is the son of t
online people i don't know what you people are doing are you solving <clears throat> you are not reading properly for up the reverse then risky question don't do mentally because some are forward some are reverse then you will get confused whatever wrong answer that may be in option <clears throat> if you're taking more time that means you are not reading the way you need to read online people any answer so see see okay we will see where is sound is coming where is speaker speaker where is it as everywhere in the okay okay getting anj think you are really thinking something can i solve or i'll wait acha ji so solve next question also i will display the question take the snapshot take the snapshot of this question so take the snapshot excluding me because some students are taking me making memes on swami nathan then same hierarchy or different hierarchy first thing second thing in what direction i have to read then decode it and draw the diagram anji where is the diagram where you draw the diagram that is why you are taking time understood this was yes yes getting okay so first information so forward or reverse sir first is forward or reverse sir forward second information reverse next information forward next 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 reverse next all are getting this decode it so remove the symbol and write the relation at is coded as child child means what is gender we don't know uh, male or female or can't be so forward or reverse sir reverse the first next star is coded as husband forward or reverse sir forward you see the in this order so second are you understand this next and means sir daughter in law daughter in law forward or reverse sir reverse so third arrow next percentage means sir uh, wife or forward or reverse sir forward fourth arrow next dollar means sir elder elder means here forward or reverse sir anji forward 
somebody may think sir elder means same generation or different generation i get this doubt i only get it out are you understood or not understand yes madam ji no no that is yes you see here yes and t where i write x where i cancelled man i told you no night time i typed effect of kingfisher right okay right understood na right i expected somebody will ask question like this sir st st is there there is no st is there because this is for reference purpose understood is boss right next what is the next relation son forward or reverse sir forward all are getting this now first arrow start from where d okay but start reading from d d is the child of c what is gender of uh, d we don't know what is gender of c we don't know second arrow start from where we start reading from d in the arrow direction tell me d is the husband of so same same hierarchy different hierarchy d is the husband of e what is gender of e female so they are what a couple sir there is no space for anybody that is why i am close to them okay boss is yes, next next arrow start the next arrow forward or reverse sir so read it f is the daughter in law of e who is the daughter in law f what is the gender of f female whom we who is calling daughter in law e is calling f as daughter in law okay boss sir tell me i am e my daughter in law that means my son's wife who okay boss sir so who is e's son we don't know tell me he having how many son that also so far we don't know. are you understand my language boss so i am writing one son here okay boss that son wife is whom eh? yeah are you understand this boss understand next next arrow start from where start reading from f in the arrow direction f is the wife of g who is g then male so i am writing g are you understood this boss next arrow start from where g start reading from g in the arrow direction g is elder than g is there in the diagram where is h we don't know wait for subsequent information are you understand this boss further read next arrow start from where start reading h in the arrow direction read h is the son of h is the son of d are you understood this boss now who is elder among h and g the question says g is the elder okay here who is elder yes so g is the elder than h are you understand this boss now g and h are same generation are you understood this boss what is asked in the question how is h related to if i will hang in camera what you are rereading the question what is the asked in the question how f call h how f call h how f call h brother in law husband Uh, one was student said uh, husband dirty people understood that so husband and brother so what is the answer brother in law okay was anybody doubt so far what somebody do they they decode it and they are mentally drawing the diagram you are inviting the risk sometimes one question will finish your one year career don't take the risk don't trust the mind don't follow without pen and paper you are studying aptitude or anything with the pen and paper are you understood this pa understand otherwise our mind is a very dirty mind our eyes and mind sometimes we cannot control it properly understood this end out here same information next question tell me what is the answer for this question online people tell me what is the answer for this question offline people tell me what is the answer for this question So first uh, remove this uh, sign and write the relation then write forward reverse then you can answer answer the question uh, yes please
अच्छा जी आउट डेंजर पीपल आंसर अच्छा हाँ जी डी अच्छा जी विल सी गेटिंग सर सी सी वेरी गुड आई एम सीइंग यू बट दैट इज रॉन्ग आंसर टेक ऑन मोर टाइम यस ये हाँ कुछ कॉलिंग है So what? See the option. Ah yes. A and B. All are getting this. D is the answer. Yes. Anybody not getting? Can I draw the diagram for anybody? Anybody? Oh yes. Yes. Yes sir. Okay, boss. Okay. Now tell me. The star is coded as what? Husband. Forward or reverse? Sir? Forward. Next. This, remove this. Write the relation. What? Child. Forward or reverse? Sir? Reverse. Second arrow. Next. फॉरवर्ड और रिवर्स फॉरवर्ड दिस थर्ड नेक्स्ट सन फॉरवर्ड और रिवर्स फॉरवर्ड गेटिंग दिस नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट एरो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वे स्टार्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम यस इन द एरो डायरेक्शन यस इज द हस्बैंड ऑफ एम यस इज द हस्बैंड सो एम मस्ट बी फीमेल हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ गेटिंग दिस नेक्स्ट सेकेंड एरो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वे R. Start reading from R in the arrow direction. R is the child of M. Yeah. What is the gender of R? We don't know so far. Next, step. next arrow start from where? R. Start reading from R in the arrow direction. R is elder than R is there. Where is N? So N is in same hierarchy. R upper hi above hierarchy. We don't know. Wait for subsequent information. Further, next arrow. N is the N is the son of Yes, sir. now already R is a kid of yes. Sir. Now N is also what a kid of yes. Sir. So N is the son. What gender of R? We don't know male or female. Are you understand this? Among R and N, who is elder? R is elder. Question says. Understood this? Next, sir. the age of M is thirty-five years. Who is M here? Mother. So mother's age is thirty-five. Because this is uh, some, somebody don't know the, how to make the option. Okay, boss. So now listen. Then N is eighteen. Are you understand? Now tell me what is asked in the question. Question not asked. What is the age of R? If the age of R means cannot be determined. Why? Because more than one answer possible. Are you understand? That is why what they are using the word probable age of R. Are you understand this? Who is R? Kid of M. So R R's age is. Equal to thirty-five possible. Equal to mother age? No. More than mother age? No. So kid must be less than the mother age. So R's age must be less than thirty-five. Not equal to thirty-five. Not more than thirty-five. Less than thirty-five. Are you understand this? And sibling is N. N age is eighteen. And already question says R is elder than N. So R value cannot be less than eighteen. R value cannot be equal to eighteen. R value must be more than eighteen. Are you understand? So we need R's age must be more than eighteen and less than thirty-five. Are you understand? Is option A? Is it more than eighteen and less than thirty-five? Is this value is more than eighteen and less than thirty-five? Yes, possible. Okay. Is this is more than eighteen and less than thirty-five? Yes, sir. Is it more than eighteen and less than thirty-five? No, that means both A and B is the answer. Understood this? Getting this, boss? Alar getting? Getting this? I think this much is sufficient in 
some are forward, some are reverse. Understand everybody? Some more question is there. You can solve it in home. Understood this question, right? Next, we finished family tree based, simple also, complex also. Next, we finished all are forward, all information. All information are reverse. And some information are forward, some information are reverse. We finished. That's all coded relation. We are shifting to indirect relation. Are you ready? Listen. One question I will solve. Next question also I will solve. Ready? Listen carefully how I am reading the statement. A man said to a lady. Who is the speaker? Man. Uh, who is the receiver? Lady. In this type of question, first you identify this your, I, my, belongs to whom? Are you understand this? Tell me. Yours, your, that means whom? Lady. My means whom? Uh, a man or me. Are you understand this? Right. Mother's husband, sister. Relation is not saying directly. First, I have to convert this into what a direct relation, then solve the question. Understand? Who is mother's husband? Who is that fellow? Father. So, remove this right to father. Father, sister. So, remove this and write auntie. Now, read the statement. Understood this? Your auntie. Your means woman. Your means woman. A lady. Auntie means who is that auntie? I am lady. My auntie means whom? I will jump from the building right to your name. So my auntie is auntie. I know already. Whom we call auntie? <laughs> yeah. Auntie? Sir, mother side or father side? Not to mention. What do you have to assume I told you? That means my father's my father's sister. Are you understand? So this person is my auntie. Are you understand? So lady's auntie is my auntie. My means woman. Man. So, lady's auntie is equal to man's also auntie. Understood? If say more than one person calling one person as the same relation, they must be sibling. Are you understand this part? That means uh, man is here. Now only lady calling this person as auntie, man also calling this person as auntie. Are you understand this? Now tell me what is asked in the question. Uh, how? How man call this lady? How? That is the answer. Are you understand? Are you understand? First identify this third person, you are my, I belongs to whom? Identify where is indirect relation, convert into direct relation, then read and solve the question. All are ready? Boys versus girls. Who is going to find the wrong answer first? One minute. I have to correct, correct something. Listen, one minute, please. Pointing to a person in the photograph. I know what you will do the mistake. Solve the Yes, please. Lights, sir. There is no power. I have. Yes, please answer the question. Read the way you read. Not only eyes read. Allow your mind to read the word. Punch the word. We will see. Why? Sir, difficult to understand the question, sir. None of this, sir. Uh, Anji? Nephew, acha. One is maternal and mm -hmm. Acha, okay, okay. Power cut, madam. It will come. So, one is maternal uncle. Somebody is saying nephew. Uh, no. Uh, acha. Why none? What is your answer? You see that. What she is saying? Somebody wrongly assuming a batch by means male. Where the where they hinted there? 
Have you understood this part? Tell me what is asked in the question? What is asked in the question? You are reading the question. How? How the man called Bajpayee? Are you understood or not understood? But what is the gender of Bajpayee? We don't know. Okay. Can I explain? Ready, boss. Listen carefully. Pointing to your person in the photograph. So, in photograph is there, one person is there. What is the gender of the person in the photograph so far? We don't know. Bajpayee is said. So far, tell me what is the gender of Bajpayee? We don't know. Are you understand this, boss? Next, he. Who is he? We don't know means I will hang in the front. Who is he? The person in the photograph, third person. That means now we know gender of man, person. Are you understand? He is a male. Are you getting this? Okay. He is the son of the only daughter of the father of my brother. Sir, I am getting headaches, sir. Generally, in this indirect relation, generally what they will do, you have to come from the back, back side. That means end of this. When... If and only indirect relations are in the end of the statement. But don't expect a indirect relation always in the end of the statement. It may be in the middle. It may be in the beginning. It may be in the end also. Are you understood this boy? Here indirect relation in the end of the given information. So I am going in the reverse direction. Are you ready? Are you ready? My means whom? Bajpayee. So my brother means whom? Bajpayee having brother. Are you understand so far up to here? My father of my brother. My brother's father. Who is that person? My, my brother's father means my father. Whose father here? Bajpayee father. So Bajpayee having father. Are you understood up to here? I have to say something. Leave here. Listen. I am male. My, uh, my, I apologize. I am in hangover. I think. <laughs> Listen, boss. So here, for example, I am male. My father's only daughter. Who is that person? My sister. I am female. My father's only daughter. I am female. My father's only daughter. Uh, myself. Uh, are you understood or not understood? Uh, you last one question. You move side. I am unable to see you. Uh, yes. Now, uh, are you understood what I am saying? All are understood this, boss? Allah understood this. Now come to here. Mm -hmm. uh, Yanji, please. Repeat. Wherever I am saying I am female, Madam Jasking, repeat. Right over here. So I am male. My father's only daughter. Who is that person? I am male. So my sister. So if I am female, my father's daughter means either me or my sister possible. But my father's only daughter. That is me. Are you understand my language, Madam Ji? Right over here. Now listen. So here, father of my brother means whom? Father of my father of my sorry, father of my brother means whom? Bajpayee father. So I am removing this uh, writing Bajpayee father. Are you understand this, boss? That means this person, only daughter of Bajpayee father. Are you understand it? What is gender of Bajpayee? We don't know. That means uh, Bajpayee is male possible. Listen carefully how I am drawing the diagram. Bajpay, female possible and brother. Are you understand this, boss? Only daughter of Bajpay father. Who is that person? If Bajpay is male, then the father's only daughter belongs to Bajpay's sister. If Bajpay is a female, this father's only daughter belongs to Bajpay. Are you understood or not understand? So I am removing only daughter of Bajpayee father and I am writing it belongs to Bajpayee or it belongs to Bajpayee's sister. Are you understood or not understand? So only daughter of Bajpayee father means it is belongs to Bajpayee or what? Bajpayee's sister. Now I am reading the statement. All are ready? Now he is the son of Bajpayee. Are you understand this part? Or... He is the son of Bajpayee's sister. Are you understood? Not understood. All are understand. This person is in the photograph. What is asked in the question? How this man called Bajpayee? Tell me how this man called Bajpayee here. Mother, mother's brother. 
No, maternal uncle. It is specifically mentioned which side. Are you understand this? Tell me, how the man called the Bajpai here? Mother. So, in the same option, my answer must be mother or water. Maternal uncle in the same option. That is the answer for this question. But uh, one one option, mother is there, maternal uncle is there. How can you say definitely that? Eh? So, your answer must be what? Eh? Are you understand this? If mother not there, maternal uncle is there, none of this not there. At that time, maternal uncle is the answer. Here, mother is not there, maternal uncle is there, none of this is there. At the time, none of this is the answer. Depends upon the option you have to answer the question. Are you understood or not understood? So, don't decide the gender based upon the name in any topics in season. All are remember this? All are remember this, boss? Boss? Yes. Anybody doubt? Anybody? Any online people? Some people feeling it. You see here. In family tree based question, many people will solve the question. Why? More information are given in the question. Coded relation. More information are there. But in indirect relation, the information is less that itself in indirect form, somebody feel they will jump from the building. So, in this topic, you have to practice more in indirect relation. Because first you have to identify where is indirect relation located. And I, me, my belongs to whom. Understand? Then what is asked in the question. Then read the convert it direct, indirect into direct relation. Then solve the question. Are you understand this? Allah understand. Anybody doubt so far? So, that's all about this. We can shift to data sufficiency question. Ready? Solve this question. I am waiting for your wrong answer. Yes. Why? Acha, we will see. Anji, only B, sufficient to answer the question. No, what is the answer? B. Option B is the answer. Option B, yeah. Acha, any other? Uh, a. A is the answer. Achha. Option A. Online people? Are you ready? Okay. What is asked in the question? Using the given information, are we able to say is D is brother of F or D is not brother of F? Are you able to say R? That is asked in the question. Statement A. What statement A says? Statement A says what? B has two sons. One made one. B has two sons. Okay. Stop up to here. Yes. Of which? F is one. Are you understand this? Now tell me. What is gender of B? We don't know. Okay, boss. Well, before that, I have to say something. This is the question. Anywhere above this information, or below this information, these are the members in the family is mentioned. These are the members in the family? No. Are you understand this, boss? Right, come to it. What is gender of B? We don't know. Tell me, B having daughter possible? B having daughter possible or not possible? Why? B has only two child and they are male. Daughter not possible. Are you understand my language, what I am saying, boss? B has two sons. So, daughter possible or not for B? Possible. More than two sons possible or not possible? Possible. If the statement use the word B has only two sons, then more than two sons not possible. 
all are understood i'm not saying definitely possible or not possible now tell me this this much only information as a is saying tell me here d is a member of this family or not from this information we don't know statement a alone not sufficient to answer the question all are understand this but if the question says here a b c d are members in the family then we know d is members in this family are you understand like that one upsc question ask where they ask that they given like that and below that they written the who are the members in the family students not seeing that they given they read this then they started solving the question and we always do reverse of what is required we spend more time in solving the question fraction of second in the question only that is a wrong approach understood this boss now forgot the statement so which option is eliminated now a only a is sufficient that is eliminated now you forgot a now see the statement b read statement b d's mother anji married to whom b now what is gender of b are you understood up to here what is gender of d we don't know ready but the question asks d is brother of f is f is a member of this family from the given information in this information we don't know so b alone not sufficient to answer the question all are understand this boss so d eliminated are you understand now i am going to use both the information are you able to answer the question or not getting this now let's i am combining both the statement a and b from the first a statement b having two son that means f is one male and another male is there are you understand this from the second statement we know base gender is male and one female is there they are partner are you understand from the statement b we know d is also kid of b understood is what is exact gender of d either d may be here or d may be here are you understood not understood this boy all are understand now tell me is d is brother of f is d is brother of f we don't know may or may not is d is not brother of f we don't know so after i am combining both the information i am unable to answer the question so what is the answer are you understand now i am changing the question attention my language is f is brother of d is f is brother of d irrespective of whatever the gender of d d call f as brother at the time a and b are sufficient to answer the question are you understood or not alar understand anybody doubt boss anybody understand alar understood this alar online people alar understand any aam aadmi having doubt boss what happened getting any doubt anybody 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 right the last question of this stuff sir yes boss sir in the last question haan ji the first statement says it has uh, that b has two son two Anji. sons can we assume that one 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 is b uh, has two son boss then yes, b sir. is also kid of b but what is the gender of b b may be male also possible female also possible understood madam ji okay sir but if the statement says like this b has only two child and they are male now we know from the statement a we know f is one child from the statement b we know d is also another child at the time directly write d here are you understood or not understood madam ji yes sir got it. ah thank you wherever not satisfied unmute yourself ask i need the question so this question belongs to arrangement based questions again the same type of question will come in logical reasoning analytical ability top name is seating arrangement and one topic called puzzle also the same type of questions will come but i will hint you here are you ready brother agra we will see who is going to face that doubt i told you in the last class all are facing towards the center is not a mandatory while teaching seating arrangement some are facing towards the center some are facing outside the center 
that is also possible. The circular will come in permutation combination also. somebody draw, not drawing the diagram properly. They are drawing the diagram only Hubble telescope only will see that. If anything went wrong then you do not know what is inside. Yes, right, what the diagram? Anji. One example I have to say, listen to us. Whose profession is given? Male profession is given. Okay, boss. Now listen. Swaminathan is a Swaminathan is a unemployed person. That is not working anyway. Anything, any any job anyway. Swaminathan is not a teacher. What does it mean? I am having profession. I am ha I am having other than the teacher profession. That means my work is other than the teacher. Are you understood or not understand? Why I am saying like this? R is not the columnist means somebody thinking male profession is given. So if R is not the columnist means somebody wrongly assuming R is a female. R is not the column. They are comparing R with the profession. They are not there. That means R must be male. R's profession must be other than the columnist. All are understood what I am saying. Yes. Done the diagram? Yes, sir, boss. In mind, <laughs> if you start reading the paragraph again and again, that means you are not reading earlier the way you need to read. Imagine this four line you read again and again, what will happen to comprehension? What will happen to editorial? Understood. What will happen to opinion? Rest. Done. Very nice. All already? Can I draw the diagram? Okay, we will see. So, how many people are there? Eight people are there. Four married couple. So, how many male, how many female? Four male. More than four married couple possible. But uh, here, eight people only there. That means four male, four female. Understood this? All are understand? Next. All are facing towards the center, very important. Why? If they are facing towards the center, then why it is mandatory? If all are facing towards the center, this becomes left, this becomes right. If I am writing all are face outside the center, then outside the center, this become left, this become right. Are you understood this, boss? So that you have to be very careful in this. So all are facing towards the center. Are you understand? Next, male profession is given, engineer, editor, teacher, and a columnist. Among the male, only S and Y are sitting together. Understood this bar? What does it mean? Out of four male, 
yes and y male only sitting together that means remaining two males are not sitting together sitting together means yes will sit here y will sit here ah y oh, sorry sir y will sit here yes will sit here both are possible right so both are male okay the yes is editor and teacher so y is teacher yes is are you so cancel uh, editor and teacher what is left out engineer and a columnist r is not a columnist so r must be engineer if you are not cancelled then you don't know who is left out otherwise unnecessarily you will consider this also editor also teacher also are you understand this boss next statement each man is seated beside his wife are what a pathetic life yes okay but so yes is here so yes wife must be here are you understand this boss now why is there why is wife must be here are you understand this yeah yes why is there why is wife must be yes he is there yes wife must be understood this remaining four places are there that means these two are couples these two are couples are you understand this these two are couples these two are couples. because they are seated together are you understand this boss next statement w the wife of engineer seated second to the right of y okay boss now listen y is facing towards the center this is called first right this is called second right are you understood or not understand if you are not drawing properly if you face outside then this become first right this become second right. are you understand so w if i write here w w becomes wife of whom here here yes sir. but the question editor but the question says w is the wife of whom that means this diagram is not suitable are you understood all are understand this understand this come to here why is the first right second right w is the wife of whom engineer so this person must be male are you understand this boss anybody doubt here anybody then tell me is this person is male possible or female possible if i write this person is male then this men also what sitting together that is not allowed so this person must be what female this person must be what why among the male only s yes and y only sitting together remaining two males are not sitting together are you understood or not understand understand next statement listen carefully you know how many male professions are there four so editor over teacher over engineer over who is left out this person must be columnist are you understand this boss next statement says sir, v is seated between w and y w and y v must be here are you understand this next q is the wife of columnist q is the wife so i cannot write here i cannot write here i can write here or i can write here but you know columnist is here so q must be here are you understand this next statement r is not a columnist means then r must be engineer so r is an engineer are you understand this r must be male and r must be other than the columnist understand next t is a male so two vacant places are there that means t must be here who is left out that's it now you can answer if you any line if you read again you are not reading earlier the way you need to read in my school days my language teacher will ask me the way we are nowadays they will ask are you reading the question yes tell me what you read what is asked in the question they will not ask what is the answer are you understood this boss so try to focus in next two to three months i will change you the way you read so far understood this boss that kind of question i will shoot you yes any doubt you know how to solve the rem you see this then you know how to solve all this understand this boss you can do it in home okay boss that's all about this stuff okay boss first what type of question family tree based question how many type two type coded relation three type next indirect relation next anji uh, data sufficiency okay next incorrect correct or incorrect next arrangement based question six type of question are you understood or not understood okay so i told you anybody attended intro that uh, orientation class of csat so there i told you what to take the notes from csat understood what to revise i read already are you understand 
sir if it is quality i can remember article 10 says what this person that person jagar means i can remember all this thing like that so you can remember. but in c chart what i will revise what to remember what i will recall that i told you in the orientation class understood this boss so summarize properly when you, everybody you see here if somebody ask you to take the notes from newspaper everybody will take everybody what they will do whatever they given they will write if you are not feeling what you read you cannot take the notes effectively if you are not feeling what you read you cannot take the synoptics effectively you cannot make that information in diagrammatic way if and only you felt you enjoyed it then only you can convert it into diagram or something are you understood this boss totally silent so any topic any subject don't take it lightly understood this boss totally silent all ah, right okay that's all about this topic anybody doubt anybody any am ask me right yes please any other more example in test you will i will get it okay boss so now what you have to do you know something about blood relation so you uh, online they will upload the blood relation uh, two test one is uh, upsc question test that means so far whatever upsc asked since 2011 okay boss whatever upsc asked uh, so that is uh, test one that is upsc understand so what you tomorrow how many days you need around 20 questions something how many days you required to solve two days sir <laughs> so what it is what day tuesday so uh, thursday thursday in the they will upload in online thursday and high note down the question number note down the doubt don't remember the doubt why doubt you have sometimes the way i will explain you may get angry or something it will never happen for example you forgot the doubt so note down the doubt understood this boss so day after tomorrow on thursday in the class we will discuss the doubt in the upsc question step understood this boss explanations already i provided understand this boss uh, after you finish it then the next test will be 50 questions test it is not related to in, not single question from upsc not a single question from class notes understood this boss this will test you all types of the questions uh, uh, you understood uh, where you are strong where you are weak are you understood this boss every topic like this some big topic eh, more than two percentage eh, other than upsc questions two te two topic wise test permutation combination other than upsc question three test number system other than upsc question you have five topic wise test topic wise understood why you are understand or not understand the topic or not? are you understood this boss that's all about a blender anybody doubt boss any am me boss what happened you are dull i murdered you all right you are exhausted after seeing the test if you are not writing the test then you don't know who you are otherwise you are afraid to expose to yourself understood this boss so don't hesitate to write the test whether you studied or not studied write the test whatever the subject at least you understand the question that half work is done so out of four options this option cannot be the answer you started the work are you understood this boss all right understand in the initial stages in the test don't focus in time limit if you focus in time limit your quality of answering the question accuracy will be different so if it is taking more time also i will inform them to extend the time also otherwise if it is ended one time you write the test if time limit is over then after some time or next day again log in that then you can write the remaining question don't try to prove to me who you are i don't need that try to realize who you are to you understood this boss understand what doubt you are how much mark you are getting i don't care i need your mistake i need your doubt sir i am thinking like that. my answer is correct sir but i am thinking in this way i need that only all are understand so every question attempt it. and find the mistakes so find the if some question takes sir this question time consuming that question also you have to ask as a doubt. Other understood this boss. 
right anything that's it can you start the next topic right So write the heading next topic small topic so after this topic we can jump to percentage so after i finish this topic then you are in rhythm in csat you will come out of the fear you will also read the csat like that that's what it is write the heading calendar those who are mathematically weak this is your topic okay but sometimes they will ask five questions in this topic from calendar okay Two thousand eleven to two thousand fifteen. Whatever the question asked from this topic, you don't need any background of this topic. You don't need any concept from this topic. As a human being, just to read it, you can able to answer the question. No need of studying any basic concept or anything. But two thousand sixteen to twenty. You need some concept to solve the question. Without that, it will take some time, or may or may not be your answer is correct. Are you understand? And in this two days, they are not interlinked with any other topics. Instead of this, I can write. Don't do it. Forgive us. Twenty-three. They interlinked with. numbers especially reminder reminder here understood this that means you need concept also you need knowledge of number system also understand that means so far since 1999 i am teaching aptitude for cat and others examination iitj and all this thing so for, for this topic calendar i never interlinked with number system that means last 4 years upsc whatever the question asked it is not a lesson for student it is lesson for teacher also that means now we have to ready to link this one minute now we are ready to link with pnc in future we have to link with the probability understood this means so i will not give this question in this calendar i will give this question in number system linked with the permutation combination i will give you that question in permutation combination a uh, probability i will ask you are you understood this first because without knowing the knowledge of a number system i cannot ask you to solve are somebody thinking sir what is this understood this first so uh, so every topics i will include this question are you understand this that whether they are going to ask concept or not i will teach concept then we can solve the question next to whatever i am going to teach one hour one hour i think one hour or one and a half hour that is not the calendar after that we will start the calendar topic understood this was all understand ready right don't write simultaneously yes all are received yesterday's class notes then you can add anything you want to add it understood this was right
or you heard about it? Forex reserve, reserve. Forex reserve. Understand? Tell me from when you get this data in the newspaper. Answer my question. When you will get details about Forex reserve in newspaper? Huh? Whenever they will calculate, sir, they will produce it. I will hang in the fan, write your name. At the time of budget, yes, sir. I will hang in the camera, I will write your name. Anji? First of all, means I will hang in the AC, I will write your name. Then who will answer to Parnidhi Chopra? You tell me. Uh, yes. Budget time. <coughs> so, last, uh, from June first week up to this 16th, I was in medical holiday. So, then somebody met me. Okay, first. So, at that time, they said, Sir, the quality of answer writing, answering the question in mains examiners, that is a poor quality. How these people go and listen, first leave the give the solution for the problem. How they will analyze the problem. Are you understood this, boss? So, read the newspaper. That is very important. Before 2011, some book will be available, some institute at that time here. That current affairs book is there. Just they will, somebody will read in one week, full night like that, they will qualify. I understand this. But it is not like that nowadays. Otherwise, you will provide a solution. Onion prices are more. Then the solution you will provide, don't eat onion. That much analytical skill they will have. Don't think I'm BJP or Congress, not like that. Understood this, boss? Okay, boss. So read the newspaper. Because if something coming in newspaper, because in economic data, is some frequency the data will come. So forex reserve is a weekly data. Weak means why I'm saying like that because weak from where to where. You understand? From Saturday, this sat from previous Saturday up to this Friday. That data you will get it on Saturday or Sunday or Monday. Any one depends upon the newspaper. Either they publish the data on Saturday or Sunday or Monday like that. If you open today's newspaper, you have, if you are perfect in reading everything, you can expect this month, this date, this data will come. Allah understood this was totally silent. Eh? So, in Forex Racer, we, they are providing the data weekly. The week started from Saturday and the week ended on Friday. That means Saturday to Friday data they will provide. Are you understood this first? Right, okay, leave all these things. Are you heard about them? So, what is the base year for inflation calculator? 12 is a leap year. 29th February, extra one day added or not added? Are you understood my question? Sugar season. If you read the newspaper, they will say this month to this month. Cotton season. They will say this month to this month. Are you understood this, boss? Okay, silent. Eh? So, re, uh, so listen, whatever, one and a half hour, that is not a topic. After Tomorrow we will start the topic. Understood? Maybe I will not able to teach the introduction of this also. Tomorrow, after one hour, we will start the topic. Understood this, boss? Real calendar. So, what is a calendar? Calendar is a chart. Chart. It is showing. Showing days. Showing weeks, and it's showing month, and it's showing year. Are you understand this? How can you, I'm not going to teach you here how the calendars are derived in our past? I will not teach you that. That story not required for any competitive examination. January means 31 days. Why not more than 31? Why not less than 31? That story I will not teach you. That is not required for that. Leap year means one day going to add it only in the month of February. Why not in remaining one? That story not required. Sir, February 14th is there. That is why that attracting one day extra. So in February attaching, not like that. Are you understanding? So certain week seven days are there. Why only seven? Why not other than more than seven, less than seven? That story not required. Sir, why it is called Monday? Why the Monday? Why Monday? Instead of Monday, we can name it as Katrina Kaif. 
week second day parnidhi chopra why they done monday tuesday and our thing all oh, then i have to teach you all the greek and roman god how the name derived it is not required for any competitive exam are you understood nada so you have to fix all this in understood this how can you decide one particular year as a ordinary year or leap year how do you decide one particular year as a ordinary year or leap year anji in my class i try to speak in any way in interview you have to speak after you posted everybody will ask you question for every question uh, those who are asking uh, any uh, press people then for every question no answer no no answer then they will they will angry on you don't be silent like manmohan singh right don't be vocal like mamta ji right yes please tell me how do you decide one particular year as a year ordinary year or leap year uh, how do i know one that year having how many days how do i know in february that 828 29 anji acha first you can check first how do you decide one year as an ordinary or leap year first you check whether that year is a century year or not a century year understood this totally silent eh so what is which year is it to be century year if last two digits are zero then it is said to be a century year for example 1700 century year 2000 century year last two digits are zero what is called not a century year if last two digits are not zero then it is said to be what an not a century for example 1720 century year or not a century year not a century 2023 century year or not a century year not a century if one only if it is not a century year then only you can check by four sir why why you like a four is parnidhi born on four no why four why not other number i will give the story are you understood this boss listen now if the given year is exactly divided by 4 then that year is treated as leap year if the given year is not exactly divided by 4 then the year is said to be ordinary understood or not sir what is called exactly divided by 4 so one year is there divided by 4 then remainder is zero that is called exactly divided by 4 if if you are dividing one year by 4 remainder is not zero that means that year is not exactly divided are you understood this boss all are understand this all are understand this right why four why not other than number i will teach you after 5 minutes don't worry for example 1860 century year or not a century year so i have to apply four rule so if entire year is exactly divided by four that means that is a leap year so verifying entire number divisible by four or not it is a waste of the time so what is the divisibility rule for four if last two digit is exactly divided by four then the entire number is divided by four swami sir stop why you like last two digit why not last one digit why not last three digit why not last four digit in number system divisibility rule i will prove you that are you understood or not if last two digit is exactly divided by 4 then entire year is divided by 4 it is said to be a leap year 60 is exactly divided by 4 or not divided by 4 that means 15 times remainder is how much zero that means it is said to be what leap year are you understand for example 2024 century year or not a century year haan ji then you have to use what four is this 24 is exactly divided by four or not so entire year is divided by four it is said to be are you getting this next lesson yeah. for example 1750 century year or not a century year not a century year okay boss so you have to apply what four is 50 is exactly divided by four or not it is said to be leap year ordinary year ordinary year okay 2023 century year or not a century year 
then you have to apply 4. Is 23 is exactly divided by 4 or not? It is said to be what time? Are you understood or not? Understood? If it is a century year, then you have to check whether that century year is exactly divided by 400 or not exactly divided by 400. Sir, why only 400? Why not 100? Why not 200? Why not 300? Like that, I will tell you the story. Are you understood this, boss? If the given year is exactly divided by 400, it is said to be a leap year. Mm. If the century year is not exactly divided by 400, it is said to be what? A ordinary year. Are you understand this? For example, 2000. Century year or not a century year? Don't use 4. Use 400. Understood this, boss? Is it exactly divided by 400 or not? Okay. What is the divisibility rule for 400? You will ask like that. Every number, how can you extrapolate the divisibility rule that we will see in number system? Understood this, boss? So now 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000. Yes, divided. That means it is said to be what? Leap year. Are you understand this? 1900. Century year or not a century year? That means you have to apply 400. Is 1900 is exactly divided by 400 or not? No. 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000. 1900 not there. That means it is not divided by 400. It is said to be. Are you understand? After 5 minutes, I will come back again this slide. So far, anybody doubt? You first you have to check whether it is a century year or not. If not a century year, apply 4. If it is exactly divided by 4 leap year, not exactly divided by 4 ordinary year. If it is a century year, means apply 400. If it is exactly divided by 400 leap year, if the year is not exactly divided by 400 ordinary year. Are you understand this? In our school days, our teacher says every fourth year is leap year. Understand? That is that that they will say like that. But every fourth year, we are expecting the leap year, not always. Sir, what does it mean? Listen now, Gary. 1996. Century year or not a century year? I have to use 4 or 400. Uh? 4. Is 96 is exactly divided by 4 or not? Yes, that means the entire year is divided by 4. It is said to be what? Leap year. Are you understand? When we are expecting next leap year, we are expecting every fourth year is leap year. So add 4 years. So add 4 years. Why we are expecting every fourth year is leap year? Why 4? I will tell you in the next slide. Understood this word? So add this, how much you will get? 2000. Is it a century year or not a century year? I have to use 4 or 400. Four. Is it exactly divided by 400? Yes, it is said to be. So what is the difference between these two consecutive leap years? What is the difference between these two consecutive leap years? How many years? 4 years. Are you understanding this? Now listen, Ken. 2996. Century year or not a century year? I have to use 4 or 400. Is it huh? 4? Is it exactly divided by 4? So, entire number is divided by 4. It is said to be. So, when we are expecting next leap year, adding 4. So, now what you will get? Century year or not a century year? I have to use 4 or 400. Is it exactly divided by 400? Yes, means I will jump from the building. Uh, no. Then it is said to be what? Ordinary year. Are you understood or not understood this one? So add further four more years. What you will get? 3004. Century year or not a century year? I have to use four or four hundred. Four. Is last two digit is divided by four or not? That means the entire number is divided by four. It is said to be what? Leap year. Are you understand this? What is the difference between these two consecutive leap years? Eight years. Are you understood what I am writing? We are expecting every fourth year is leap year, not always. Come to here. 1996 is leap year, ordinary year. Leap year. Next year, 1997, ordinary year. 1998, 1999, 2000. That means how many years without leap year? That means minimum three years without leap year. What is the minimum number of years without leap year? Three years. Come to here. 2996. <coughs> Ordinary or leap year? Next year. 2997. Ordinary. 2998. 2999. 3000. Ordinary. Are you understood or not understood? 
3001 3002 3003 3004 that means what is the maximum number of years without leap year are you understood in that what is the minimum number of years without leap year that is 3 what is the maximum number of years without leap year that is 7 we are expecting every fourth year is leap year not always all are understood in that what is the difference between ordinary year and leap year a secret answer one day changing one day increasing are you understand to get that one day i have to wait for four years here if i wait for four years i will get one extra day here i am waiting for how many years to get the next leap year four years if i wait i will get one extra day eight years i am waiting means i will get two extra day are you understood not understand compared to ordinary year leap year having one extra day only that means how many years you are waiting to get the next leap year is not important to get the if you are getting next leap year only one extra day going to be added that type of correction done by the gregorian are you understood or not understood all are understood this ba let understand what i am saying if you are going for next leap year you have to add one extra day you have to add one day. are you understood this ba so sir four years are one day eight years means two times four years are there so two not like that that is correction done by already by gregory who is gregory after two minutes i will come to that all are understood this all are understood anybody doubt so far we are expecting every fourth year is leap year not always what is the minimum number of years without leap year what is the maximum number of years without leap year all are understood up to here all are understand this okay right next in our past in the past so many religion followed different calendar system are you understand this they follow different different calendar system many of the calendar system at that time depends upon the moon size why because it's very difficult to see the size of the moon or seeing the sun is very difficult that is why they already they started preferring see the size of the moon are you understand many calendar at that time understood this <clears throat> eid means they are expecting some size of the moon easter day means they are expecting some size of the moon are you understood this amavasya means expecting some size of the moon purnami means some we are expecting some size of the moon so many of this calendar systems based upon the size of the moon are you understand out of this western country people they are happy with julian calendar julian created one calendar they are very much happy with julian calendar why they happy with the julian calendar because of the name julian no julian calendar correctly predicting the easter day how they know sir it is this calendar correctly predicting easter day means whatever the size of the moon they are expecting it is there easter yeah, julian calendar saying today is the easter day whether it is correct or wrong we have to check it we are expecting some size of the moon it is also there that means julian calendar is correct we will follow julian calendar are you understood or not understood they started adopting the julian calendar how julian created his calendar whenever he created his calendar at that time the scientific community identified one year means 365.25 days he is not created other people created he used in his calendar system i am not going to teach you in hours minute and second understood this bus that is not required so first year 365.25 second year how much 365.25 next year 365.25 next year 365.25 that means in four years this 0.25 creating one extra day that is why he said every fourth years one receiving one extra day it is a it is a leap year are you understood or not he said like that everybody happy year one passed julian calendar julian calendar saying today is the easter day whatever the size of the moon they are expecting it is there year two passed three five ten correctly predicting year 99 correctly predicting year 100 comes julian calendar saying today is the easter day whatever the size of the moon they are expecting it is not there they recorded it 101 comes correctly predicting 102 103 104 199 100, correctly predicting year 200 comes julian calendar saying today is the easter day whatever the size of the moon they are expecting it is not there they recorded it 201 correctly predicting 299 correctly predicting year 300 comes Julian calendar saying today is the easter day whatever the size of the moon they are expecting it is not there they recorded it and they concluded julian cheated us 
then they invited other person called grigorian grigorian ji grigorian ji you come here we are very much happy with julie 1 to 99 correctly predicting yesterday don't change the rule of 4 every fourth year is leap year we are only facing problem while crossing the century year please go on read the julian calendar identify what went wrong in the century year provide solution for the century year only understood not understood now gregorian enter the picture you see here when you are facing the problem while crossing the century 365.25 days in one year this many days julian uh, taken this in 100 years because you are crossing the century year creating problem total how many days getting this when gregorian enter the picture scientific community corrected one year means not this much one year means 365.2425 days in 100 years what happened how much multiply 36524.25 days difference is 0.75 what does it mean every 100 years julian calendar moving 0.75 days faster because of that easter day started coming earlier than the expected day all are understood this if your watch is 10 minute fast to make it correct what you will do to change the watch are what you will do you will subtract the 10 minutes julian calendar is 0.75 days fast to make it correct calendar what you have to do subtract that 0.75 if anybody ask you to subtract if it is whole number is easy or decimal is easy whole number is easy are you understood or not understood but how much we are getting here decimal here second thing if you are going to subtract fixed number is subtracting is easy or variable number is subtraction is easy that means every 100 years extra 0.75 going to be added for 100 year means 0.75 subtracted 200 year means 0.75 plus 0.75 1.5 you have to subtract 300 year means 3 times 0.75 you have to subtract are you understood or not understood are you understood this boss why you see so this is given by this is this is given by julian This is given by Gregorian. Are you understand this, boss? We shifted from Julian to Gregorian in 16th century. That means uh, in 1582 around. Understand this? In 16th century, we shifted from Julian to Gregorian. Now we are using Gregorian calendar. Not only Gregorian calendar. Now it is uh, based upon the sun movement. Are you understood? that is why you will call a solar year or all this thing in geography you studied like that are you understood this boss so we shifted from julian to gregorian listen carefully why he used only 400 why not 300 why not 200 okay boss if he used 100 years you have to adjust to 0.75 days decimal so because of that he is not using 100 years here why he is not using 200 years here first 100 years 0.75 next 100 years another 0.75 for 200 years how much 1.5 again decimal that is why he is not used here why he is not using here 300 years 0.75 0.75 0.75 how much again decimal that is why he is not using here 400 years 0.75 0.75 0.75 how much for the convenient purpose are you understood or not understood all are understand this so when we shifted from julian to gregorian in 16th century we shifted question started asking from 17th century onwards they will not ask you before that why if they question ask about actual calendar the question will ask from 17th century onwards why before 17th century the definition of leap year is different why every fourth year is leap year here we are expecting every fourth year is leap year all are understood and not understood all are understood this bar all are understood anybody doubt so far anybody sir how do we know this year means 16th century you will ask like that no i will ask listen
first century. What is called first century? Century means how many years? So, 1 into 100, that means up to 100 years. That means 1 to 100. Are you understood what I am saying? Second century, that means from where to where? Century means 2 into 100, up to where? So, from where to where? Are you understand this verse? Third century, from where to where? 201 to 300. Are you understood or not understand this verse? Tell me now. We are which century now? 21st century means from where to where? So, 21st century means here what? Ending with it. 21 into 100, 2100. Starting is what? 2001. Are you understood or not understood this verse? I totally silent. So, 1582. Tell me what century this is. 16th century. That's why I said like this. Are you understood or not? So, which calendar we are using? Gregorian calendar. Are you understand? One more thing is there. We are actually using Gregorian calendar. But we are using in Gregorian Julian also. If the given year is not a century year, apply 4. Applying 4 means Julian. Are you understand? If it is century year, apply 400. It becomes Gregorian. Are you understood or not understood? Allah understood this? So far, any doubt? Any Ahmadmi? Question will ask from after this only, after 16th century. That means question will ask from 17th century onwards. Whatever the question asks. In actual calendar. Imaginary calendar is different thing. Are you understand it? So actual calendar will ask 17th century onwards. If you see so far what UPSC asked, every question will ask from 17th century onwards. Are you understand this? Why? Because no need of saying, uh, if I am if I'm asking 17th century afterwards, that no need of giving any definition for leap year. You are expecting every fourth year is leap year. You are expecting. But are you understood this? Boss? But here means what? Uh, every fourth year must be leap year. Here may or may not be. Are you understood this? Boss? That is why question will ask from here. Understand? In doubt? Anybody? Any Amadmi? Anybody? All are crying. Any blood, blood from your ears, nose? Are you about to die? Right. <clears throat> Next one more thing is there. Odd days. Tell me what is called odd. So after, I think I cannot explain today. Tomorrow I will tell you, why sir we have to derive the odd days? You will ask like that? What is a necessity? It is a time for you, time waste, sir. Why have to derive the odd days? That proof will come tomorrow. Then only you know, in this topic, how much important to derive the odd days? In entire this calendar topic. Are you understand it? Tell you what is called odd. Very good. It is not number system odd. Odd even. Odd means different. Different from what? You will ask like this? A totally silent. Eh? Different from what you will ask? So if you take calendar, so group, we are going to, one year is there. We are going to group it. Year-wise I can group. Month-wise group I can take it. Week-wise group I can take it. What is smallest group among this? Week-wise. Are you understand this? So in a week, how many days are there? Seven days are. There. Are you understand? For example, nine days are. There. Tell me how many weeks you can make it? Nine days. One complete week. Seven days over. Remaining how many days are there? The two days you are unable to form another group, another week group. The two days are different from the previous group. That two days are called odd days. Are you understand this? No, sir. Odd means different. Ah. Extra. Then what a complete week. Are you understand? Otherwise, what you will do? 25 days are there. Divided by 7. Why 7? In a week, how many days are there? 7 days are there. So, how many times? Sir? 3 times how much? 21. What is the reminder? Whatever the reminder, that is called your odd day. Whatever your quotient, that is called what? Complete weeks. 
so this is called what a 25 days means three complete week plus four remaining you that four days are not able to form a group like earlier group that four days are different that four days are called order days that means if you days are the divided by seven whatever the remainder that is your order days are you understood now all are understand this all are understand this that means number of days more than seven or number of days more than multiple of seven are called odd days getting this sir i am not understood for example 55 days how many odd days but these odd days means whatever the days are there divided by seven your remainder is your odd are you understood or not understood okay boss now don't go ahead of me sir if it is month is there if it is year is there how can you derive the odd days tomorrow's class understood this class tell me 55 days how many odd days are there so six odd days are okay boss next <clears throat> 40 days how many odd days are there five for remainder is what a five odd days understood what i am writing right next 74 days are there how many odd days four four okay boss next um 17 days are there three three 30 days are there two eight days are there Seven days are there. Six days are there. If number of days are less than seven, that number itself odd days. So how many odd days? Sir? Six. Are you understand this, boss? Now tell me. I am writing the odd days. In this, what is the minimum number of odd days? Minimum number of odd days. One means I will jump from the building. Zero. What is the maximum number of odd days? Six. That means for a for odd days means always from zero to six only. It never be more than six. Sir, why? You are dividing the days by what number? If you divided by seven, the maximum remainder you can create how much only? Six only. Are you understood? Not. All are understand. Odd days is always from where to where only zero to. It never be more than six. If it is more than six, again divided by seven. What then write the remainder? If you are writing the word odd days, this value must be numerical value zero to six only. It cannot be less than zero. That means negative. What will happen? I will teach you tomorrow. Sir. it cannot be more than 6 are you understand this you are dividing by which number what is 7 week how many days are there 7 days are there then what is the maximum remainder you can create 7 minus 1 6 odd days is from 0 to 6 are you understand this now i am going to say about the imaginary calendar are you ready question says like this if in a week 10 days are there at that time you have to divide the days by 10 whatever the remainder that is your odd days if you divide by 10 what is the maximum remainder you can create at that time odd days is from 0 to 9 are you understood not understood if it is actual calendar means they will never give you week how many days you know already 7 days are there if on only imaginary calendar then only they will say week this many days are there for example the question says like this if in a week 12 days are there at that time odd days is from where to where 0 to 11 are you understood all are understood what i am saying so if it is a negative it means what will happen tomorrow's class will be are you understand this right okay next what is that week initially whenever the calendar system gen started that is started from sunday later on that shifted to other day are you understand this so week started from when not in this month week generally 
which started from when if you go to western countries their prayer day is on sunday their holidays on sunday their week starts from sunday if you go to gulf country their prayer day is on friday their holidays on friday their week starts from friday if you go to jewish country different if you go to other country different that means everybody will start differently for example trump is saying swami sir swami sir we can sit for king fisher party week second day according to whom why are you understood this boss so everybody starting a different day so we have to i apologize for this who is stupid fellow calling swami so we have to generalize something understood this boss so some union committee is sitting there they said week started from monday but initially can started from where only sunday then later on shifted to what monday okay over so monday means week first day instead of that i am writing one odd why i will tell you tomorrow's class tuesday means second two odd wednesday means yeah thursday means four odd. then friday five odd. saturday six odd. sunday means seven odd days but odd days means it cannot be more than six again divided by seven what is the reminder so are you on the now generally now reverse direction one odd day means two odd day means so you have to remember in this way also are you understood or not understood understand this so some more is there another half an hour to 40 minutes something we then only we can start the real calendar topic understood this class so we can stop the class up to here no some more time is there why we have to leave earlier so so far anybody doubt right listen now captain for example 10 days are if it is in days how to derive the odd days divided by 7 what is it directly divided by the new whatever the numerical value you divided by 7 what is the reminder 3 odd days 10 weeks tell me what is the reminder what is odd days you cannot divide it directly by 7 if and only days are there you can divide it by 7 directly if it is in weeks, you cannot divide it by 7. Convert to weeks into days first. One week, how many days? 10 weeks, how many days? 70 days are there. Now divided by 7, what is the reminder? 0. No need for calculation. Why? Week means that must be multiple of 7 days. Understand? Oh, that is always divided by 7. Reminder must be what? 0 most popular question 15 weeks how many odd days are there somebody will say one understood this bar but you cannot divide it 15 by 7 if i convert this into days that must be multiple of seven days if you divided that by seven that means zero odd days. are you understood or not so how many odd days zero are you knowing a waste of the time are you understand week means multiple of seven that means you are dividing by 7. That means 0 odd days. Understand? 1000 weeks. How many odd days? Are you understand? I am 1000 week elder than Parnidhi Chopra. I am 1000 week elder than Parnidhi Chopra. Understood this? I born on Tuesday when Parnidhi born. Are you understand this? Elder is synonyms to difference. In ages topic I will teach you. That means difference between me and Parnidhi is 1000 weeks. 1000 week is synonyms to how many odd days? Zero odd days. That means me and Parnidhi born on same day. Not a date, not a month. Are you understood or not understand? I born on Tuesday. When Parnidhi born? Same Tuesday. Are you understood or not understand? Allah understand? Allah understood this boss. If it is in days, you know how to derive the odd days. If it is in weeks, you know how to derive the odd days. In tomorrow's class, if month, month is given, how to derive the odd days? Year is given, how to derive the odd days? Tomorrow's class. Understood or not? Allah understand this? So, any doubt in today's class? Any Ahmadmi? Anybody crying inside? Anybody plan to quit UPSA? Right. Enjoy the remaining day, but revise the class notes, PDF, sincere. Okay, boss? Okay, boss? We will see tomorrow. Thank you, boss. Thank you.